Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create pencil drawing effect in Photoshop. So first, we need a copy of our background layer. Go to the layers panel, make sure the background layer is activated and press Ctrl or Command J. Or there is another way, you already know this. Just drag and drop it to plus icon. Now, we need to convert this layer to a smart object. So right click and choose convert to a smart object. So it's a safe way to change the values and settings of filters later. Now we need to invert our smart object. So make sure the smart object is selected and simply press Ctrl or Command I. The next step, go to the adjustment layer and choose hue saturation adjustment. Now go to the properties, decrease saturation to minus 100. Now get back to the smart object layer, make sure it's activated and we need to change the blending mode from normal to color dodge. Okay, so the next step we go to the menu bar, filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Increase radius till you get the best result for your image. In my case, let me show you, for example, this is this is 5. For my case, 90 is fine press ok go to the adjustment layer and choose curves let's go to the properties and we need to take shadow handle to the right side move it to the right side in my case i guess 80 to 90 is fine guys be careful if other areas are too tense for example like this in my case all you need to do just get back to the layers panel and this time make sure the mask is activated. Take the brush, make sure the foreground color is black because we are already working on a white mask. Okay, now all you need to do is just brush these tense areas like this. For example, this part, this part and you got what I'm saying. Now it's time to clean unwanted areas so all we need to do just go to the layers panel and choose this plus icon which it creates a new transparent layer take your brush and brush unwanted areas with white color make sure the foreground color is white zoom in and just simply brush like this So now it's time to merge all the layers into a new one. So go to the layers panel, make sure the topmost layer is activated and press Ctrl or Command Alt Shift and E. So we already have our new layer. Right click on it and convert it to smart object again for the same reason. So we can change the values and settings later okay make sure our smart object is activated go to the menu bar filter and filter gallery i'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see what is happening okay it's fine go to the texture and choose grain make sure grain type is set to speckle and in my case intensity is set to 40 and contrast is zero Again, guys, this is in my case. Just play with the sliders to get the best result for yourself. And the next step, go to the plus icon right there. Press it. So we already have a new effect layer. Now change the grain top to regular and intensity for mine 78. And the contrast 40 is fine. I press OK. Now it's time to fix a small problem. If I zoom in, as you can see, our grains are colorful. So we need to turn it to black and white. So all you need to do, go to the adjustment layer and choose hue saturation again. Go to the properties and decrease the saturation to minus 100. And that's it, guys. Much appreciated as usual and I'll see you in the next video.